Now to the left, there seems to be some chompies, and I don't know if like I don't know if we're supposed to get there later on. I'm really not sure, but just interesting to note. Because I know there's like a racing uh, mini game in, with the Swap Force characters, so I, I don't know entirely, but yeah. It's, it seems like there's a lot of Swap Force zones, because in this one there were three, I think. So, if that's three per level, that's a lot, because there's 12 chapters, which is 36 Swap Force zones. So I guess, I guess the end of the Let's Play will sort of be like a compilation of them. These element gates can be found throughout all of the Cloud Break Islands. They've been here waiting almost a hundred years for you to return. The legends say these magical gates only open for Skylanders that match the element symbols. This is a life gate. It will only open to a Skylander of the life element. You'll also find dual element gates in Cloud Break. You have to match both element symbols to open it. It doesn't matter which swap force parts match, or even if the elements are on two different Skylanders. That's basically saying, if you're playing co-op, it still works. Which means, with those, because I won't have all the swap force sets, I will pretty much just plug in controller 2 and just be like, Hey! Here we go. Oh, thank goodness a Skylander is here! My three sheep wandered off and got themselves caught out in prickly pastures. No. I'm not brave enough to go through those this Oh, they're so adorable and so sad. And freed my sheep. May I just point out, his name is Little Bro Pete. <laughs> that is so good. That is hilarious. I love that. For those who don't get the joke, although you should. Little Bo Peep, Little Bro Peep. That's just so good. I love that, that made me laugh so much. I wasn't expecting that at all. So Vazen at this point was just like, these guys captured the sheep. This is war. Oh, he's called Lieutenant Wolf. As in wolf and sheep. Sheep wolf. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Yes, brilliant. I love it. This game is just so good. Just like, the design, it's stylistically it's beautiful. I mean... Like, the thing is, I ha obviously haven't played this yet, but I played it at E3, so I, I played two levels at E3, so I know what it feels like. I know how it controls, how it plays, what a lot of the characters feel like, I know what it is. But, like, looking at it, it just looks so much more beautiful and so much more vibrant and just so much better than what it was at E3. And that's hard to do, because at E3 it was perfect, more or less. Like, there are glitches occasionally, which I'll talk about when we get to them, but, yeah. Something to keep your um, head warm on your way to Woodborough. Yeah, all right. So this is our first hat, and surprisingly, this hat—it's the uh, stovepipe hat. It surprisingly fits. <laughs> Stealth out. It surprisingly works really well. I don't know why. But it just does. But uh, since we've got another elemental gate, I guess we should switch over to the uh, flame water. Uh, so, which combination are we getting? It's Blast Buckler. So, the way I think this works. I think I could be mistaken. I believe the the bottom is what takes everything. I think the bottom is what I think takes all the memory, like uh, like level ups, experience, and whatnot. I think I may be mistaken about that. I'm pretty sure it does. And the top is just for extra power um, and splitting, obviously. But yeah, he was just like, this is going to hurt me, isn't it? I haven't been hurt yet. It's just like, uh, maybe? It's just like, I don't want to get hurt. I don't think so. <laughs> but it was just like, yeah, it just pushes me. It's alright. But yeah, may I just say, this area genuinely looks beautiful. There's so, like, like the ripples in the water is just stunning. I mean, really. It's, it, it really is amazing to look at. So, seriously, just major props to um, Activision and Vicarious Vision. It's just such a beautiful game and 
when I get to finally play it tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully it arrives tomorrow, I really hope it arrives tomorrow, uh, when I get to play that, it's, yeah, it's going to be stunning, I, I think. It's, uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with it, and I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, there, I think there was, like, a month-long portion where there were so many games that I was looking forward to, I was just like, I'm looking forward to it, but just not as much as I was, and then there was, like, the one month to, towards it, and I was just like, I want the game now! <laughs> I can't wait! So, here's the first legendary treasure. It is the most, the mostly magic mirror. Mostly, not all the time. You know, like, it's, it's only mo- like, because if it's all the time, then it's like you're being spoiled, and we can't have that. Because if you're being spoiled, then it's wrong. It's quite bad. So we're gonna switch back. I uh, think we, yeah, we switched them around. We, uh, top and bottom around. So we have Wash Zone. Always good to switch them around. Actually, no, it might be the top that gets experience. Actually, I think it is the top that gets experience. No, I'm pretty sure it is. My mis my bad. The top is the experience and the um and the money. The bottom is the sword force zones. Okay, my my bad. Sorry about that. But at least I corrected myself. Huh. All right, we can do that. So we'll just push him. Thanks. Well, just push it. Surface and push it. There you go. Can't remember what I was talking to him about, but yeah. Um, here's the first soul gem. And it is for Popthorn. So to puff or not to puff. Nice. Cool. It looks pretty good. It looks really nice. They, they look really nice, those sections. So, that's pretty cool. I'm probably going to end up speedrunning this game at some point. I'd be surprised if I don't. Because, well, it, this game. This game is awesome so far. So, I'm looking forward to more of it. Um, I was, at this point, I was just like, I want money. I want to get the money. Go to the right. This thing's on the right. It's uh, Flynn's Lucky Dice. Um, it's Fluffy Lucky Dice. The Flynn's missing stuff. Which is pretty cool. So, yeah. There's a lot of collectibles in this game. That's the thing that impresses me. Because, um... In the last... In the first game, there was, what, 20 chapters. Then the last one, there was 16, I think. In this one, there's only 12. Um, but the chapters are apparently much longer. And I suppose it's evident by the fact that this chapter alone is 50 minutes. Um, well, more or less. Maybe, maybe more like 40. But it's still pretty... Including the intro cards and tutorial. But it's still very long. Which is very good. Because it means it's going to be a lengthy game. And I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Diggs the Molkim said that the eruption of Mount Cloudbreak is one of the most spectacular displays of magic in all of Skylands. He also theorized that staring at it for too long might actually cause severe blindness. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing, apart from the imminent blindness that we shall receive. This yes. A swap zone. When a swap for Skylander's legs match the symbol like this one, they become supercharged. This one is a rocket symbol, so only a Skylander with rocket power can take on this challenge. Okie dokie. I can do that. Okay, so just hold A to boost and reach the finish. So, yeah. Um, Svazen was just like, oh my god, how do I control this thing? I was just like, it's really not that hard. I've done it before. It's it's really not about how do I do it? I was like, seriously, Svazen, it's not hard. How do I? Okay, then. <laughs> but, yeah, he um, he gets it a few times. But that's alright. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's fun. So I'm good fun. He makes it. That's, that's the important thing. Isn't it? Isn't it the important thing? Good job. <laughs> gets hit. Good job. Yes. <laughs> well done. Thanks. It's almost patronizing. It's almost encouraging me to hit everything. Maybe that's why he did it. Yes, let's use that excuse. It encouraged me to do that. <laughs> See? Could have avoided that. See? Great job. Got hit. See? It's encouraging us. 
It is telling us, but that is the rightful thing to do. I do like this Wolf Force Zones, they're pretty cool. I mean, I've only done two of them before. Um, I did a uh, flying one like this, but it wasn't here. Um, and I did one, uh, a uh, ladder one, which is also in this level, but um, I didn't do the, the one from this level. Um, and the ladder one I did, I did without getting hit. And the ladder one in this level, so phase and well, you'll see how he went, how that went. But uh, yeah, um, that is. By the way, I'm not suggesting that he died by saying we'll see how he went. Uh, I'm not suggesting that he actually died there. He didn't die. I'm just, I just want to clap about it. It was just a slip of the tongue. Here's another hat, and uh, what's it called? It is called the Greeble Hat. Twenty maximum health, which is pretty handy. So we're going to give it to. Uh, where's my fire hat? Wouldn't it be great if when he gets the pirate hat, he's just like, YAR! I hope that actually happens, I really do. But, yeah, this this game, I love it so much. I haven't even played it yet, and I love it. Well, actually, I have played bits, but you know what I mean. Anyway, another treasure chest. How handy is that? Oh, um, may I just add uh, something I should probably clarify? This is the Wii U version. I'm going to switch over to the PS3 version, because the version they're sending me is the PS3 version, and the one he got is the Wii U. So, yeah. Oh, this is one of the sections I absolutely adore from this level. Like, genuinely, I I love this. I really do. I think this is amazing. I don't know why. I just do. I think this is so cool. You really get to see how vibrant the whole world is. And just, in general, just, like... Like, it, it's stunning. It's just, it's beautiful. It, it truly is amazing. Like, what, what more can I say about it? I, I, I mean, really, you can see for yourself how beautiful the world is. I, I won't talk about that the entire time, I swear. I can't get down there this way. We'll, we'll go the other way then. Fine. If, if you insist. Ah! Chompy pod. Like even the, like, just the chompy. Even the chompy pod just looks stunning. Like they really upped the graphics in this game. And like, actually, that's one of the things as well. But I really haven't mentioned the the stylistic menu in the bottom left. Like genuinely, like when I saw that for the first time, I think I was one of the few people to upload it first. I think, like when I saw that, I was like, I was genuinely amazed. I, my draw, my my draw, my jaw dropped because. It's just so beautiful. I like, it was it was nice before it worked, but it's just so much nicer now, and you can really see how much effort has been put into it, and it's just it, it works so well. I just I, I think it's like everything about this game has has such a such a nice feel to it. But yeah, we got a got a, a honey hive room, which is uh, no bees though, which is a bit weird, but. You'd, you'd expect the uh, the bees would protect their nest and their honey, but I guess they're on vacation like Flynn. Or they were hit by the giant volcano. Either one, you know, not not gonna complain. Just 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 wandering, I guess. If uh that's the that's what happened, maybe. Maybe it was. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. But maybe it was. So, the puzzle, well, it's, it's sort of a puzzle. To get that over there, basically, you get what's over here, and then you push this back, which is pretty simple. Uh, but we'll go for we'll go for this first, which is the second soul gem of the level. And it is for... Magna Charge. He's pretty cool. Success is mine. Actually, something I haven't really talked about. The addition of a jump button. Because I always thought Skylanders was really clever and innovative. Well, not necessarily innovative, but really clever with the fact that it didn't need a jump button. It worked very well without one. But that said, the added jump button does make the game a, a, it, it feel different, sort of. But it's it's very fun still, and I appreciate that a lot. Because I was mildly worried it would feel like too different, but it doesn't at all, which is great, so, 
Yeah, I just love the game. And there's the fourth Flynn missing thing. But, uh, yeah, this is the end of this part, and I will see you in the next one.